heavens are telling the glory of God, the firmament proclaims his handiwork day to day, Paul's whole speech, and night to night declares knowledge. Welcome aboard yet another very important part of our knowledge spreading process, which is what you know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are dealing with the eighth in the preliminaries in the 2020 competition. Four individuals are contesting for the honors this afternoon. Two of them, pursuant to the rules governing this competition, would gain entry into the next round of the competition, namely the quarterfinal. Ladies and gentlemen, which individuals would enter the quarterfinals in the fullness of time would get to know. The contestants who are lined up a pause for action very quickly will introduce themselves. The contestants. Now, Kuku Ayek is my name, a student of Keta Senior High Technical. Good Mr. Connish is my name, a student of Kata Senior High Technical School, under the tutelage of Mr. John Lakabo, aka Nyerere. I'm Richard Kwamiju, and I'm a media person, and also I hear from Mafia Didume in the Volta region, and I'm a married man. Oh, really? <laughs> It's an interesting concept, and I think that maybe we should introduce this, that you should indicate your marital status. <laughs> it's, it's important. At an appropriate time, I will introduce this concept. <laughs> Welcome, my man, Joe Anu, Collins, Isaac, and Isaac again. The competition start. I suppose, or do you have the old person in this competition? Yes, please. Oh, you are new. This is my third time. Oh, your third time. Collins. New. You've been here before. No. Oh, Collins, you are coming for the first time. So you know the rules. You know the rules. Isaac, again. No, no. Uh, uh, yes, you know the rules. So let's listen to the rules. Now, you see, you'll be getting three points when you answer a major question. Hmm? There are two types of questions. Major questions, minor or bonus questions. When you answer a major, you get three. You understand? So normally, the quiz master would propound a major question. But if that major question is not answered, it, it becomes you know, a bonus question, and it will be taken away from you and given to the other contestants. Somebody ought definitely to answer a major, sorry, a bonus question. When you answer a bonus question, you have one point. And additionally, you gain the capacity to answer a major question for three points. You understand? So that's how it is. If the question is not answered, it goes back to the quiz master who answers the question and goes back to the same contestant who tried the major question and could not answer. You understand? Yes. Again, so depending upon the accuracy of any answer on any occasion, the quiz master reserves the right you know, to reduce the number of points available. So that if it is three points which are available to you, the quiz master, in his opinion, thinks that the answer which you know has been put forward, there's no merit, the three points, the quiz master will depreciate, you understand, the, the three points and give you two or one, huh? depending upon the quality of the answer. With this explanation, the competition starts round one, second one. Yes, you see, Isaac, listen. Of course, all of you listen. The Israelites. They're all Christians, I suppose. The Israelites. They were a confederation of Iron Age Semitic speaking tribes of the ancient Near East who inhabited a part of Canaan during you know the tribal and monarchic those monarchical periods. Now, according to the religious narrative of the Hebrew Bible, the Israelites you know, um, the origin is traced back to the biblical patriarchs and matriarchs, Abraham and his wife Sarah, through their son Isaac and his wife Rebecca, and their son Jacob, who was later called Israel. You understand? Now, Jacob had 12 sons, according to biblical accounts. And this is recorded squarely in Genesis 4, he ate. Jacob, 12 sons, Jacob's 12 sons. Now you need to each. Can, can you start it? Yes, Isaac. Benjamin and Joseph. Oh, well, of course. Those are, uh, uh, Benjamin and Joseph. Uh, Collins. Ruben and Ezio. Who? Ruben. 
There are two. So if I'm able to answer all the two, Ruben and who? Etio. Etio. Who is called Etio? Spell it. A R A R T H E A U. T H E A U. African Union. Etio. Oh, honestly, this this is apocryphal. <laughs> It's apocryphal. Absolutely, it, it can't be found anywhere. Yes, Richard. Uh, Ruben and Judah. Ruben and Judah. <laughs> Ruben and Judah. Finally, Isaac again. Benjamin and Ephraim. Oh, Benjamin has been mentioned. Second chance. No, Richard has mentioned. Isaac again. Yes, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir. Joseph has been mentioned. <laughs> that is what you need to say. But they have been declared. You understand? Yeah. Ruben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asha, Isaka, you know, uh, Zebulon, Joseph, and Benjamin. Okay. Now, for three points, listen. We have dealt with, you know, the, the 12 sons uh, of Jacob. But there are these 12, you know, uh, very important individuals in the Bible. Christian theology and Exeology, hmm? Ecclesiology, sorry. Apostles, particularly the twelve apostles, also known as twelve disciples or simply the twelve. They were the primary disciples of Jesus according to you know the narrative in the New Testament. You mention two again. This time twelve twelve, you understand? Twelve sons of Jacob, twelve disciples of Jesus Christ. Isaac, Matthew and Simon. Sorry? Matthew and Simon. Matthew and Simon. Matthew, of course, and Simon is correct. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Collins. Judas and Peter. Hey, also Judas. <laughs> Judas and Peter. <laughs> uh, 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 we have uh, John and Barnabas. John. Barnabas. Second chance. We have John and um Oh la la. John and and that answer never came. Isaac. I tell you. Simon Peter. You always want to <laughs> even there's a difference between Peter and, and Simon Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be reading the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get <laughs> to, you know, to the Bible. <laughs> get used to the Bible. Read, meditate upon it daily. Uh, Peter, James, John, Andrew, Bartholomew, James, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Judas, Fabius, uh, uh, Matthew, Philip, Simon, the Zealot, and Thomas. <laughs> now, um, is it? Uh, 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 who? Oh, Isaac again. Isaac. Now, Africa is made up of 54 fully recognized sovereign countries. You understand? Now, we'll mention one of the seas or water bodies yeah? that differentiate the borders of the African continent from the other continents. Do you, you understand? Mm -hmm. The, the sea which separates Africa from the other continents. Huh? There are, there are, there are um, five of them. Can you mention one? The Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean Sea is correct. <laughs> the Mediterranean Sea points. The Caspian Sea. Sorry? Red Sea. The Red Sea is correct, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. No sea for him. I think again. Gulf of Guinea. Come again. Another one. No, come again. The one. 
foot separate all. That's what we're dealing with. We have to see the Mediterranean Sea, the Suez Canal, the Red Sea, the Indian Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean. You understand? So, um, uh, we're not rising. Yeah. Now, 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 Kevard or Cabo Verde, officially the Republic of Cabo Verde, is, it is an island country in the Central Atlantic Ocean. Now, the ten volcanic islands in its uh, archipelago have a combined land area of about 4,033 square kilometers. Now, Kedvah has the Kedvahian Escudo as their currency, and the Portuguese as the official, and Portuguese as the official language. What is the capital of Kedvah? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Praia, that's correct. Now, now, the beauty on the Horn of Africa is a mostly French and Arabic speaking country of dry shrublands. Now, volcanic formations and Gulf of Aden beaches. Djibouti is home to one of the saltiest bodies of water in the world. How? Now, now, now the low lying lake Assal in the Danakio Desert. What is the capital of Djibouti? Djibouti. Djibouti is correct. Djibouti is correct. Djibouti is a landlocked country in southeastern Africa. And it is defined by its topography of highlands split by the Great Rift Valley and the enormous Lake Malawi. Now, the lake's southern end falls within Lake Malawi National. Full of Malawi. What is it? What's it on? Oh, again. Lilongwe. Lilongwe is correct. Lilongwe is the capital of Malawi. Now, Botswana, a landlocked country in southern Africa, it has a landscape defined by the Kalahari Desert and the Okavango Delta which becomes a lush animal habitat during the seasonal floods. The massive central Kalahari game reserve with its fossilized river valleys and undulating grasslands is home to numerous animals, including giraffes, cheetahs, hyenas, and dogs. Capital of Botswana. Gaborong. Sorry? Gaborong. 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 I love you, Gaborong. Gaborong! Gaborong! I think that the performance has been creditable. Uh, this is an appropriate, you know, juncture for us to close the first round of the competition. End of round one. <laughs>
say you regularly wash your hands. Keep that distance from everyone. Report anything like that simple thing. Serious favor is a simple thing. Dry cough is a simple thing. Broke with camera is a simple thing. It's your eyes and two is a simple thing. I will go back like this. We go back with a cigar. We jam over channel water. We go more yo go wanga. Everybody must be alert. It's a global pandemic. We can never take for granted. We don't want to be alone. We don't want to be alone. We don't be alert. It's a matter of life. We can never take for granted. Coronavirus, is there an end in sight? What is the new normal? Masks, sanitizing, social distancing, are we making headway? What would you want to ask the Ministry of Information? You'll have the opportunity to put forward your views, suggestions and questions on the new hashtag program, Ask the Info Ministry, live on GBC News and GTV on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. with Thelma Taki. You can join the conversation via WhatsApp. Uh, Has three points. (laughs) Isaac Ajay, a teacher with the Menji Senior High School, Menji Tain, Menji Tain District in the Bongavu region has four points. <laughs> Collins Duka, a student of Keta Senior High School in Keta, also has nine points. <laughs> in the lead is Isaac Nam, a student of Keta Senior High School, Keta, with 12 points. Man, um, uh, Samuel, well, ladies and gentlemen, the scores have been declared. The person who is preeminent here uh, is this individual from um, Qatar Senior High Technical in the voter region of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to deal with the second round of the competition. We have three rounds to navigate, don't forget. But before we proceed, we would want to wish um, uh, the person who is extending this wish is no less a person than uh, this what you know guru Anthony Oyagbero he says he is wishing final year students of the youngsters senior high school good luck in the WASI exams they are pursuing and he says that God will definitely see them through message from Anthony Oyagbero a tutor from the youngsters senior high school now very happy birthday to Rita Bohema who is also known as Mama Little and Victoria Gekum. All this, these messages have come from Paul Akarimita, veteran, what you know, contestant. Ladies and gentlemen, round two, question one. And, and ooh, it is, it is Eric, uh, Eric. Now, Eric, you see, one of the most celebrated comedians of all time was Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin, you heard his name. One of the most celebrated comedians, Charlie Chaplin. What was his middle name? Yeah. Which John the Baptist? Yeah, Collins. John. No, but what are you talking about? Is a, a, a duplicated John? Another John? What kind of John? Huh? Uh, this is uh, it's, it's it's unchristian. The man says John, I say no, and then you bring another John. Richard, you Nicol- insist on a John. Nicholas. <laughs> I did. Yes. The man was Spencer. Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin. Now, now DNA is the acronym for this main career of genetic information in all living organisms except viruses that contain ribonucleic acid. Huh? Now, what is the full rendering of DNA? What, what does it mean? D or Zarabuki? No, no. I think it's Isaac. Isaac. It's Isaac. 
Yeah, right here. Of that app. Bunny. You heard he something said, and you're repeating. You heard Collins. He has a bone. What bone? He has Collins. He has a bone. He click acid. How are you? How are you? Be auxiliary. Be auxiliary bone click. Deoxyribonucleic bonucleic acid. Yeah. Now listen to this, uh, uh, Collins. You see, listen. Injamina is the capital of Chad. Injamina. It, it is the capital of Chad. How was it formerly known? Salisbury. No. Salisbury. No. Yes. Uh, Richard. Oh, pass it on. Pass to uh, Isaac. Yes, uh, uh, Adam Isaac. Yes, they were known as Fort Lamy. Fort Lamy. Huh? Fort Lamy. So, who call it again? Yeah. Now, call it. Now, to which countries are the following, you know, personalities associated? Huh? There are these significant individuals whose names are squarely recorded in history. They have relationships with certain countries. Now, tell me the country. Reverend Indambaningi Sitoli. Which country? Niger. No? Come again. Congo. No, not Congo. Wait. South Africa. No, not South Africa. Yes. Congo. No. Kenya. Yeah. Sorry? Kenya. Yeah. Zimbabwe. Huh? He founded the Zimbabwe African National Union. Huh? A militant organization that opposed the government of Rhodesia. Hmm? Reverend in Dambaningi Sitori. We want. Now, uh, uh, colleagues. Joshua. Uh, listen to this one. Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy. T O L S T O Y. Collins. Leo Tolstoy. Which country in the world? America. No, no, America. <laughs> Tolstoy. T O L S T O Y. France. No. No. Tanzania. Russia. Russia. Now listen to this one for three points. Jonas Savimbi. Points. Jonas Savimbi. Which country in Africa? South Africa. No. Zimbabwe. No. Richard. Zambia. No. Isaac. Angola. Angola, one point. But I think this is named to, I don't know whether you know, Kapwepwe. Oh, this man, Kapwepwe. You understand? Oh, some time ago, it, 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 it was, you know, the nickname applicable to, you know, um, no, Kapwepwe. The full name. Sorry? The Sorry? The full name. Name is Congo. No. Zambia. Zambia. Now, um, this one is Moshi Dayan. Isaac. Moshi Dayan. Tanzania. No. India. Oh, wait for him. <laughs> you have a second chance. Isaac. India. No? Points. India. Ah, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Are there two Indians uh, uh, somewhere? He says India. No. And you say India. Richard Jordan. South Africa. Ah, Moshi Dayan. Bangladesh. No. Moshi Dayan. Israel. Huh? Isaac Modibu Okran. Modibu Okran. Malawi. No. Collins. 
Mali. Look, where do you want to be? You open. Sorry? Pakistan. No, no. 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 <laughs> former Supreme Court judge. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you put him? <laughs> you put him in Tanzania. Mm. <laughs> is a very terrible Ghanaian. Well, of course, he's departed to the church triumphant. You know, um, Tanya Modibo Ocean. Huh? He is, uh, uh, he was, in fact, a, a Ghanaian. Now, for three points, um, Isaac. Now, you see, one of the, one stupendous event in the French Revolution of, of, of a certain year was the storming of the Bastille, Bastille, the French Revolution. Now, on what date did this event occur? But you let me reduce the area a little. In which year? Did the French Revolution occur? 1947. Look. 1847. Yes, yeah, Collins. 1919. The French Revolution. Richard. 1873. Sorry? 1873. No, I did not tell you. <laughs> I did it. 1879. No, 1789. The French Revolution. Huh? Now, uh, Isaac, uh, again, now why in Africa would you find the, the Runga National Park? South Africa. No. Tanzania. It is correct. Points. The Runga National Park. Botswana. No, I disagree. Your turn, Richard. It's South Africa. No. I disagree. Namibia. Dr. Congo. Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, for three points, Isaac, is your turn. Now, what country's national anthem? Huh? Is entitled Mungu. Huh? In Bariki, Africa. South Africa. No. Mungu. Faso. Sorry? Burkina Faso. No. Mungu in Bariki, Africa. Yes. Zambia. No. Tanzania. Tanzania is correct. Tanzania is correct. Huh? Tanzania is perfectly correct. You know, God bless Africa. It is the Swahili language, you know, version of Enoch from Tonga's popular hymn in Kosi Sikalele Africa. Huh? The word Mungu in, in Swahili means God. Huh? It means God. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's an appropriate stage for us to draw the curtain on the second round of the competition. And a round two. Normal. Masks, sanitizing, social distancing. Are we making headway? What would you want to ask the Ministry of Information? You'll have the opportunity to put forward your views, suggestions and questions on the new hashtag program, Ask the Info Ministry, live on GBC News and GTV on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. with Thelma Taki. You can join the conversation via WhatsApp in text or send a 20-second video asking your question ahead of time to be used live on air. Don't miss out on this opportunity to hashtag Ask the Info Ministry live every Tuesday at 4 p.m. on GBC News and GTV. Antanta, 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 
At the end of the second round, Richie Juwalu has three points. Isaac J has eight points. Colin Skuda has eleven points. Isaac Nam still leads with twelve points. Uh, of the proceedings here in South Sudan, we're dealing with the eighth, you know, preliminaries, the uh, eighth in the preliminaries uh, of the 2020 competition, and as I indicated, two of them, two personalities, will gain the right to go into the next round of the competition, namely the quarterfinal, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see which individuals would enter the quarterfinals. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Competition begins in round three. Question one. Uh, it, it's Isaac. Yeah. Isaac, which of the Isaacs? Now, now, Isaac. Now, 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 listen to this one. Sorry, Collins. Collins. Now, Collins, listen to this one for three points. Now, um, where in the world would you find the Ingorongo? Huh? Ingorongoro. Ngurunguru crater. Where would you find it? Russia. <laughs> Ngurunguru. N G O R O N G O R O. Ngurunguru. Huh? Uganda. Oh, la la. Uh, Richard. Guinea. 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 No. Isaac. No. Tanzania. Tanzania is. <laughs> <laughs> now you see that the the current of is also to the second. He he is known privately as Nanakwa Kudia. Huh? Now also to the first. He was born in 1660, and he died in 1717. Now his full name was Otu for Nana Osei Kofi Tutu Openso, huh? Huh? the fourth ruler in the Ashanti royal dynasty. Who was Osei Tutu the first predecessor? You understand? Who was his predecessor? Otibuatin. There is an Ashanti king called Otibuatin. Yeah, Collins. Obiri Yabwa. Sorry? Obiri Yabwa. Obiri. It is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Renatan. Obiri. Huh? Obiri Yabwa. Yeah? Nano Obiri Yabwa is, is the answer for, for the points. Now, um, for three points, listen to, to this one. Now, now, um, books this book one man one market it is a novel in, in the african writer series who wrote it tm aluku tm aluku <laughs> one man one market but but who wrote uh, 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 this other book it, it is known as zambia shall be free who do you think wrote this book zambia shall be free Who wrote it? Uh, is it is Richard? No idea. You don't have an idea. NF Kaunda. Kenneth Kaunda himself! <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, it, it, is, it is critical, it is crucial that you apply some educated guess, you know, to some of the questions propounded by the prison master. Who is concerned about the freedom of Zambia? Zambia shall be free. Kenneth Kaunda. But uh, Isaac, let me take you here. The African is the 1964 debut 
novel by a Sierra Leonean novelist, an educator. It was the 12th work published in Kaiman's African Writer Series. Now, the novel's plot revolves around the romance between a black African student and a white South African woman in England. Who wrote the African? David York. David York. Yop. Yeah, Yop. Yop. Yes, conspicuous. But the senior student. Chinua is not there. It's not there. It's not there. Okay. Yes. Well, well, is not there. It's not there. Collins. I N C Abioni. I N C. His initials. I N C Abioni. Abioni has not written any book like that. I, I read it. No idea. You don't have an idea. William Conton. Huh? William Farquhar Conton. William Farquhar Conton. So, as you can see, we are still there. Yeah. Now, Arrow of God, the second novel in African trilogy of the writer, it moves the historical narrative forward. There is a progress in that direction. This time, the action revolves around Ezeu, the headstrong chief priest of the god Uru, which is worshipped by the six villages of Umwaru. The novel, this novel, is a meditation on the nature, the uses, and the responsibility of power and leadership. Who wrote this book? Who? Now, um, but this one, now, every death is a tragedy for family, a tragedy for friends, a tragedy for colleagues. Yet, sin signs are preventable. Now, we call on all countries to incorporate proven suicide prevention strategies into national health education programs in a sustainable way. Now, this statement was made by the head of an international body. Hmm? Every death is a tragedy, tragedy for family, friends and colleagues. Yet, suicides are preventable. We call on all countries to incorporate proven suicide prevention strategies into national health and education programs in a sustainable way. This statement made by the head of an international body. Who is this person here? Oviana. No, it's not Oviana. Yes. Antonio Guterres. Yes. The, 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 yes. A, a name like that should crop up. But this name is not exactly commonplace. And, and so. It's a kind of worms anyway. So, Richard. No idea. You don't have an idea. Uh, 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 Isaac A.J. My name is Ahmed Salih. Sa oh. Salih, uh, the, the one who is. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there is Salih. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dr. Tedros Adanum uh, Gebrelius. Huh? Gebrelius. Gebrelius. Huh? Oh, sorry, good brain Jesus. Uh, now, for three points, uh, is it Isaac? Yeah. Isaac, now, um, <laughs> the, the botanical name of tobacco is Nicotiana uh, Tabacum. Nicotiana Tabacum. What is the botanical name of nutmeg? No nutmeg. It is used in cooking. <laughs> Sativa. <laughs> <laughs> What's Sativa? Oscus Oscus Esculentum. Esculentum? Esculentum is now not fake. Richard. Pathiton. It's called Pathiton. Pathiton. I do call Pathiton. It, it, it's, all, it's called pass. <laughs> <laughs> Not pass it on, but pass. 
Uh, uh, right, let me start with this one. Uh, X, X, there is Tika fragrance. Uh, there is Tika fragrance. M Y R I S T I C A. There is Tika fragrance or fragrance. Now, Isaac, what about ginger? What is the botanical name for ginger? I hope you don't say kakadu. <laughs> ginger has become a, a very important commodity in this age of the malevolence of COVID-19. So it's appropriate that we identify, you know, everything about this important commodity hmm? ginger how would you call it botanically yes mystica species hey did you do biology or something are you a biology expert <laughs> because you're, you're churning out you know from time to time very important names in, 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 in biology but they are not working out Richard it's uh, easy Zizi. Zizi. I can say it is an happy species. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, what, what, what do you read in the university? Yeah? Yes, sir. Well, oh, <laughs> you will find it there. It is not, yeah, you understand. You can find a bit of the one thing there. <laughs> um, what is it? You started this one. It's, it's Zenjiba officinale. Huh? Zenjiba officinale. Huh? O F F I C I N A L E. Huh? Zenjiba officinale. Now, Isaac, uh, how would you call, you know, um, now we, 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 let's move to um, oats. You know, oats. The oats that you will eat it for breakfast. Huh? Quaker oats. Oats. What is the botanical name for oats? Yes, oats. Like a <laughs> I think that's applicable to a tomato or something. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> Why did you apply to oats? Huh? Oats. O A T S. Richard. No idea. Richard. Isaac. Yes. Did you start, Isaac? Yeah. Avena sativa. Huh? Avena. A V E N A. Avena sativa. Huh? So uh, we're back to you, Isaac. Now, Isaac, listen. <laughs> Now, before independence, the issue of currency was the responsibility of the West African Currency Board. Now, when did the Bank of Ghana issue its own currency in the form of Ghana pounds, Ghana shillings, and pence? 1960. Which year? Okay, let me, let me give you... I, I would have insisted on the date. Uh, but let me take you away from danger a little bit. Just supply the year. 1960. Oh, but you said, so you just said the, 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 the opportunity. Collins. 1957. No. Richard. 1956. So Isaac. 1958. It is there. Isaac. <laughs> 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 so we find with the exciting exploration around the 50s. 56 dropped, 57 was there, 58, 58 obviously, 14th July, 1958. Now, the first direct elections for native Kenyans to the Legislative Council, it occurred in 1957. Now, despite British hopes of handing over power to moderate local rivals, it was a local party led by Jomo Kenyatta that formed the government. What was the name of Jomo Kenyatta's party at that time? 
the party of Jomo Kenyatta. Mau Mau was not necessarily a party. NDP. NDP. <laughs> NDP. Hey, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. United Party. UP. <laughs> right, you, you want to come home or something? <laughs> ANC. ANC. But even if I you should supply the details. What is AMP? It's, it's, it's a skeleton. African National Congress. No, I disagree. Kenyan African National Union. Can. Kenya African National Union. Can. Uh, I say, what is the monetary unit of Kenya? Shillings. Sorry? Shillings. Kenyan shillings. That's correct. <laughs> Kenyan shillings. It, it, it is correct. Now, for three points, Isaac. Now, now, there was this New Testament writer who was not a Jew. Huh? The only New Testament writer who was not a Jew. Who was he? Oh. No. New Testament. Go to the New Testament. Yeah. No. Collins. He was not a Jew. All the others were Jews. David. David. David wrote the New Testament. Richard. He was. And you should be adding over that. <laughs> As you can say, Mighty. No, Luke. Saint Luke is the one who wrote it. Huh? Now, Isaac, listen. Now, um, Nitrogen is a gas and non-metal. What is its color? Nitrogen. It is a gas. It is non-metallic. It's not metallic. It is a gas. What is the color? Brown. Brown. Yes, what is the color? Colorless. Sorry? Colorless. Are you sure it's colorless? Oh, give me a color. <laughs> give me a color. What color? Put your hands together for color! What the cause matter was doing was rather colorless. You understand? What <laughs> uh, is rather colorless? Because it is indeed colors. Colors. Now, chlorine. Huh? Chlorine. Yes, it, it is a, it's, it's a halogen. And a non metal. What is the color of chlorine? Last question in this competition. What is the color of chlorine? Greenish blue. Sorry? No, no, it's colored. Yeah. Greenish blue. Blue. Richard. Uh, yellow. Isaac again. Purple yellow. Isaac. The second. Sorry? Brown. No, he said the you know, he does your brown thing. You see, <laughs> because Collins Mensah said the prince. He said greenish blue. But the real thing is greenish yellow. End of the competition. Try exercise, try exercise, try exercise. You do work from home before hand sanitize. 
hand sanitize, hand sanitize. You go chop more food, so try exercise, try exercise, try exercise. Watch your back, my sister, just hear me. Social distance is necessary. Corona is coming to kill me. And we saving our families. Watch your back, my sister, just hear me. Social distance is necessary. Corona is coming to kill me. And we saving our families. It's a corona. Corona coming like it's on the corner. We keep corona. Crossing a boat in Europe, America. Sawa. Me and you, you, you and them, I, them and. At the end of the final round of today's pre preliminary for the quiz program, Richard Jiwonu, North Kanishi Accra, had three points. <laughs> Isaac Nam, a student of Keta Senior High School, Keta had 13 points. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac J, a tutor with the Menji Senior High School, Menji Tyne District, had 16 points. Colin Skuda, student of Kita Senior High School, Kita also had 16 points. Gentlemen, uh, so this is where we are. The scores have been declared, and the two personalities, you know, who would gain entry to the next round, they tied up with 16 points for the first position. Put your hands together for Collins Man Sakuda and Isaac again. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, of course, in that matter, the tied. I think the third person, yeah. Adi Kikuna, huh, has also qualified. Put your hands together for the contestants. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the whole Kabuto. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon all of you and grant you peace. On this note, and until the same time next week, when we bring the questions from our theology to all of you, on behalf of my producer, Francis Mensah, Chris Leabwagi, Sir Collins Mensah, Samuel Logo, Felix Abelier, Tiffin Afafa, Victor Niadi, Greg Mendo, Chris Olata Inqua, David Nano, Gifted Broom, Spencer Ayibo, Kofi Yabua, Imano, Saka Kote, Kandega Lagatan. Yes, I've been your quick brother, and I've been your quick brother, and those out there, and what, 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 what? What? Yes. 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 No, 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 no.